Good afternoon traders, welcome to Trade Setup in the afternoon wrap for the 17th of October. Okay, we're going to take a look at the ASX 200 and how that played out today, uh, the price action for the day. We'll also look at the S&P 500 and what we can look for tonight, uh, different levels. And also we'll go through the Aussie, the action for today and, and looking at tonight and the Euro. Okay, we've got the ASX 200 here, uh, the 30 minute chart as usual. Uh, we've got resistance is just holding quite well at 55.10 or that 55.05 zone. Uh, we can see that uh, push down, that retest of that zone up here, and then we've just been heading heading down since then, making lower lows and lower highs. Now, the most recent price action we were looking at today, just before the open, uh, this high here that happened on Friday night. Now that's at 54.60. Now we we're looking for that to potentially be another uh, lower high if we just mark that other one up here. So we had a, a lower high in here. We took out these lows through here and then we've just done the same thing today. So we're looking at that this morning to hold and potentially that market to roll over. Uh, we didn't expect it to roll over as savagely. I thought it might just test down towards this 54.05 zone, uh, but we have pushed lower and we pushed lower into the close of the ASX and the futures market as well. Um, we're holding those lows at the moment. We're potentially looking down towards 53.75. We are well into oversold territory, so that could potentially just spike down and then bounce back up and work its way back up and retrace some of that action from uh, the 54.60 zone. Uh, we have to see it, but definitely the uh, at the moment the trend is down, so we'll see how that plays out tonight. Okay, we've got the S&P 500, sorry, what am I talking about? Four hour chart, you know, we see that major move down from that 2192 zone, uh, pushed down over, I think it was payrolls, and then we had that uh, contraction back up high to make a lower high at 2180. Now we've continued to make lower highs, we've made another one there at, if we can just mark those in, a lower high here, uh, we've made another lower high here with a bit of a washout, and again, just in this zone here. Now potentially, because we've taken out this zone, uh, I think again that was on Friday or the price action previously. Took out the support at 21.42. We made this lower high. We back did wash it out, and we're potentially just rolling over now. So we're in that zone where we're not overbought, not oversold. We could easily just go down and test uh, support there at 21.10, uh, retest that zone and push through, spike through, maybe wash it out. Um, but that you probably find that market would be extended then, and it's away from the MAs as well. Or we could just contract in on itself, making minor lower highs and higher lows. Uh, and then breaking, but we I mean, at the moment it doesn't look like it's set to go either way. But that price structure at the moment, the pressure is to the downside. We are coming to that support zone at 2110. We could make that high low and then just go up and retest 2147 or that 48 and then roll over from there. Uh, all that that major lower high, if we get a bit of contraction, make a major lower high in this zone and then kick our way back up. Potentially, we'll, we'll be capped up towards that 2160 if we hit up to that resistance again. We'll see how that plays out tonight. Okay, we've got the Aussie dollar here. Uh, this is a one hour chart. We've just contracted in on just to get a bit more data. Now we are coming out of oversold down there. Um, we have this major support, which we've been holding for quite a while now at 74.45, and we've been edging lower into that. Uh, it's probably been that recent price section after pushing up from 74.45 up to that resistance around the 7700. Uh, we have been making those uh, lower lows and lower highs, uh, working our way back down. Uh, if we can just zoom in a bit more. And yeah, we, we have had that trend pushing down and we just broke out of that, I think it was on a Friday night, uh, that price action, and then we've been edging our way high. Now just that's, that's really just contracting action and we were just potentially holding up at that 75.85 uh, support. We could easily work our way through, wash out a few traders, uh, we are in oversold though. If we hang around that sort of oversold mark, just edge away lower and then pop back up. It'd be interesting to see if, because we have popped out of that resistance at 76 28, or 26 to 28 zone, we pop through that and then this type of price section is not conducive of um, a big rollover. It's more pulling back into the zone and then building a good base to push straight up. So if we do that, we could be heading up towards those 7600, 76, sorry, 7690 to 7700. That zone up there and we'll probably find some more resistance up there but be interesting to see how that plays out and whether that us dollar has a big impact on the aussie okay taking a look at the euro dollar uh, euro us here we've had that big that big push down this is a daily chart so it's a big really big time frame here uh that major push down we found some major support at 105.15 um 105.05 105.15 105 zone um, and then we have just been sort of bouncing around, really just consolidating between that zone and the resistance at 116.05 to 117, 116.50. So uh, just banging in between that, those two major zones there, and we are just in a, 
in the process of just rolling off that uh, resistance area at 116.50 say. Uh, if we just drill it out now, we can see that support is starting to form and it's building at that 109.20 uh, support level there. So if we just put it over to a shorter time frame hourly chart, we can see that that support, we're not far off that support actually, and that trend has been well and truly down. Uh, and we can see that lower high which is holding this, this latest leg down at 110.60 one say, at 110.60. So if we just make another minor lower high within this, this trend here, there's no real resistance to worry too much about just here. We could easily just roll over, push straight through that support to 109.65 uh, into 109.20. Uh, it's, it is a bit of a way off, but it can easily spike into that. We are getting towards that overbought, so it looks like these levels, you know, we're finding a bit of sellers stepping in here, which could easily just push it straight through that support into that um, major daily support where we do expect a bit of a reaction off that zone. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Um, obviously, again, links if we see some strength in the US dollar, we probably do expect that to play out. That's um, drop through that support zone into the major daily support uh, 109.20 anyway thanks very much for joining us we'll speak to you tomorrow and don't forget traders you can go to our youtube channel to subscribe uh, just go to www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash trade setup au and you can view all the uploaded videos we've taken so far